Sam here from the Royal Army's education team. And for this instalment of the Home Learners Hub, we're talking Romans. <laughs> Wolfgang Joche. He was an amateur archaeologist and he was excavating a Roman site in 1971 looking at a spoil heap, would you believe? It's like a rubbish tip of an excavation site. And that's where he found something truly amazing. Have a look at this. A gladius, a Roman sword and arguably one of the best preserved of its type. This is the Pompey style sword. It comes from the first century and it wasn't just the blade there was the mounts from the scabbard as you can see the scabbard was the sheath the holder which the sword went inside but i want to concentrate on the blade the actual sword itself because this one the one which wolfgang found which lives in the royal armies and leads has an unbelievable story behind it it's so cool this is a replica of that pompey style gladius sword like the one from the army's collection and just like that one it's about 48 centimetres long, this blade, which is not a big sword. You're probably looking at me and saying, Sam, what are you going to do with that small sword? Well, the Romans use it to full effect. In their favoured formations, with their scutum, the big shield out in front of them, locked side by side with their fellow soldiers, the gladius would go to the side. And they'd lure the enemy closer and closer and closer. And when the enemy were within reach and distance, the gladius would come to life with an order. Fast! Fast! You okay? Walk it off, buddy. Walk it. No, oh, no, get him up. Get him up. The sharp point on the gladius was key to its effectiveness. It was perfect for that thrusting motion in battle into the gut of the enemy. Yes, it was double edged, which means it could be slashed left and right. But could you imagine what a disaster that would be if you were close next to your fellow soldiers and you went all Hollywood? <laughs> this? What are you doing? You thrust, how hard is that? We rehearse, you thrust, you don't swing it around willy-nilly. Look at the state of this. Just for goodness sakes, are you seeing this? Clumsicus here, gonna take an eye out. And just when you thought this sword couldn't get any cooler, consider this. It's the exact type of blade which would have been used by the Romans to put down Boudicca and her rebellion in Britain in 60-61 AD. Wow! Did you notice something? at the forte, which is the bottom part of the blade. Have another look at that picture again. Have a look. Do you see? It's a name. A name of its former owner. Do you see this pattern here? This indicates that the former owner was a centurion, an officer in the Roman army, and then the centurion's name, Caius Valerius Primus. And if you thought that was cool, get ready for your mind to be blown. Because if we turn the sword round, in the same place but on the other side, is a second name. A different name. Caius Rhenius. So the same first name, Caius, but a different second name. And no centurion symbol. It's a different soldier. Two different names. Do you see what this means? The Gladius in the Royal Armouries collection in Leeds had two different owners in its lifetime. Two different Roman soldiers. One a centurion and one not. How it came to have two different owners? Who knows? Send it to us so we can read it, because I'd love to see what you've created. And keep an eye out for more brilliant videos and films from the brilliant, fantastic people at the Royal Armies Museum. For me, it's goodbye. <laughs>